Doesn't look too bad for a couple of noobs, eh? <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to YouTube's number one channel. It's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> but uh, today, anyway. <laughs> today we are working on uh, bolting the solar panels down. So we got to put our super strut in place, and uh, then we can work on mounting the actual solar panels. And last video, we dug out our trench. So. We might be able to get to that today, but we'll see. You want to say anything about the moles? Oh, yes, the moles. Uh, you want to take them over there? Yeah, so obviously we started digging our two foot deep trench, and today we come out here, and it's like literally almost refilled in some spots because of moles. Yeah, over here too. That's how it was, and the moles. So we need to figure that out. Apparently, apparently, all the best grass on the farm is right here today. Right in our solar panel area. We had one just walking through right here. And the big bull. As long as he doesn't step on the railing. Oh my God. It. Oh, my God. There. Oh, God. Cross the ditch. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. What is he doing? He's throwing dirt on him so he gets the flies off. The black one belongs to the white face, but the brown one has a totally brown mama, and it just keeps leaving it. So I think I'm going to adopt him. I think one of them farted. Yeah, you could just hear him. Oh. You didn't hear him tooting? No. I thought, I thought that was their mouse flapping. He toots before he crumbs. Oh. <laughs> Even that crumb. So I think I found the culprit on who was eating my pineapple plant. What suffered the most damage was my pineapple plant. It's like a crime scene. The male donkey. He looks like he's enjoying it. <laughs> we're going to be mounting the solar panels today, so just to show you how we're doing it, because we're going it a more budget friendly route. Uh, these, they're uh, super strut. They're actually a electrical uh, supply companies carry them and also like uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, all those carry these for the most part. Uh, so we went with these and just some basic four by fours and every, things you can get at every like normal hardware store. And those are steel. So the, prob the problem we're going to run into, since these are steel and this frame is aluminum, is we have a chance of uh, uh, galvanic corrosion, I think that is what it's called. Um, so basically, my way of trying to get around that using the uh, steel with the aluminum frame, because the aluminum would cause the steel to corrode over time, I'm going to be using these bolts, or I mean, the 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 frame is going to have these slid into them. Like, if I can get in it. there, it goes. There, I'm going to have four of these, one for every corner of the solar panel. So four, four per solar panel, and then in between that, what I did was just took some old uh, rubber inner tube because I just need something to break the metals to make the break that electrical bond between the conductive metal to the least uh, less conductive metal to prevent that corrosion. So what I'm doing is essentially I made a, a cut a cutout in this uh, old, bike, old tire. bike tire. I want to place it over it. So 
there the aluminum frame can't uh, touch the galvanized steel and then this will go through the back side let's go to the back this will go through the back side of the frame and also excuse me I didn't show you the washer we're using these galvanized front faced washers with a rubberized face um, we're using those to go through the frame so the rubber will be against the aluminum and then the uh, rubber will go through like so and any excess that sticks out we're just going to cut off yeah so this is just uh, a complete experiment. I don't know if this will be uh, will work. It should work because all you have to do is break the bond between the two different conductor, uh, the two different metals. So we're going to try it out, and um, I guess for the sake of science, we'll we'll let you know how it goes. But we're. We really need to try to beat this rain. It looks terrifying out here, and we're going to try to mount these, at least these three solar panels right now. Super strut or on there's two there's two super struts obviously but it's on one line and then this solar panel is actually on two different lines of super strut so this side is on this same line and then this side is on the uh, lower staggered side it'd be like if one was mounted right here and partially on one and partially on the other but yeah, that's just the way we had to do it in order to make them flush and be able to put the strut right in the center of the wood. Yeah. But yeah, we got four of them up. We got eight more to go. Look at all the flies that are landing on them. Oh, I know. I was just looking at all of them. It has to be because it's warm. I don't want to lay on them because they're warm. I'm freezing. No, uh, we went with a quarter inch gap in between the the solar panels just to allow airflow. I don't know what the manufacturer recommends for it, but I've seen a few people run roughly a quarter inch gap, so. This I'm is a going, DIY project, yeah, remember. So I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just going with a quarter inch gap, so don't, don't rain me if I don't know, uh, if I don't do a half inch gap versus a quarter inch gap or whatever most yeah. manufacturers do. <laughs> Check it out guys, we finally have our solar panels mounted, they are totally installed, and we are very excited. We just got it done right before it got pitch black outside. The coyotes are howling, <laughs> it is ready to go in. But, yep, we got 12 of them, and now that we have our off-grid solar panels all set up to power our home, it's time to get them all wired.